Low Model Railroaders. It's Dave. Welcome back to the layout. Uh, just an update video, uh, so it won't be very long, but just uh, some content I want to produce and give you a foreword or forewarning of. Um, I've been helping a friend of mine uh, with his layout more than I've actually been working on mine so far this year. Uh, he wants to show his layout uh, at open houses where I don't have that ambition. So he asked me if I would help him uh, over the summer months uh, to prepare for the fall open house. So that's what I've been doing, helping him with lighting, helping him with uh, some scenery. And that's what we've got in front of us right now. And as we get the layout more to his liking, uh, I will try and gather some video footage of that in a future video. But for now, uh, what he wants, or what he has acquired, is this expanding foam uh, rock casting. And of course it's a little fragile and it had broken off on him in the past. And that was one large uh, casting. And he's modeling HO by the way. Uh, and so he wants to utilize this on the layout and some scenery and uh, was unsure how to deal with the casting. He liked the uh, slate and sandstone-ish look of the rock. He wants to use it in as a like a ravine where the water has cut through uh, down to its current level and uh, there's a different uh, manufacturer's piece here. Now this is a lot more rigid and it looks like it has already been coated though you can still see the open pores from the bubbles in the expanding foam. Uh, so I'm going to see, do a test piece on uh, this little one. From my investigations I've read that either using drywall compound uh, that's been soupied up so that it's brushable to seal the pores and just keep doing that until all the little voids are closed like there's uh, maybe hard to see but there's like an open bubble pop right there where uh, there's a void and uh, I don't know how well it's coming out across on camera but it's very apparent visually that there are a lot of uh, open pores especially up in uh, in this area around here where that never really uh, solidified down into the casting so that is one video that uh, I will try some non-sanded grout which was another recommendation, which I've got some that is tan. And uh, depending on how that works, and we'll try the uh, drywall compound, which I need to go buy some. So uh, we'll try the non-sanded grout first, but that will be one potential future video. A second potential future video is I had purchased a digital scale, digital balance, whichever one you prefer. I'm going to say scale because it's not that accurate uh, compared to an analytical balance. Now, uh, what I've done so far is I've got my set of sieves that I found at a uh, antique flea market, if you will, there previously that I've, uh, I believe I've mentioned in one of my updates. And uh, what I've done is go over and get the tear weights of all the different sieves and the, the bottom pan. So I can do an actual more in-depth breakdown of the Woodland Scenic Spine Ballast. So that is a, another video. And a third one, and if you will bear with me as we zoom through my wife's uh, sewing area and around into here which I don't know if we'll get the echoing I apologize for that but with the 
wash of white. Uh, this used to be our cold room. And I definitely won't be doing a lot of videos in here, not with this echoey uh, aspect to it, but uh, what will be storage in this end will have my paint booth in this end. And while I could use the existing fan on the paint booth, I'm going to use a furnace uh, exhaust fan uh, from a direct vent furnace. And that will be venting out that vent, which I can show you what I'm using. It's actually a spring-loaded vent, so uh, the vent stays closed unless there's air pushing on it to open it to the outside. So that will be a bit of a future content. Right now I've still got one more coat of uh, paint to put on the walls. Uh, we had a mold mildew issue in the cold room that wasn't getting enough ventilation and uh, it was getting, we had a bit of a, a snow build up on the porch and a leak came in and the uh, ceiling that had been drywalled had mold growing on it and it smelled really dank and musty in here and uh, I just had to deal with the issue. So uh, one more coat of paint and that will be done and then sort uh, out my stand and get my paint booth uh, set up. So that will be a, a nice area where any foam cutting or anything like that that I may do will be actually exhausted directly outside. Uh, so that will be nice there. So the, the potential of uh, three upcoming videos um, and uh, let's quickly zoom you back over to the layout and um, hopefully by now I've already posted the video uh, showing the use of the wireless inspection camera uh, to give a perspective view of either rail fanning or uh, potentially looking at uh, scenery or even just getting into those uh, places that you've already seen it to, such as tunnels uh, to find out if there's a an issue so uh, just a very quick update video that uh, I wanted to, to post to say yes uh, I know it's been three months uh, life happens and uh, with assisting my uh, my friend with his layout uh, I just haven't had the ability to generate any uh, video content and acquiring the balance and the, or the scale and uh, dealing with the uh, the mold mildew issues in the cold room uh, you know just no time life gets in the way sometimes as everybody knows. So hopefully we'll be able to get some more content shot out this summer with the videos I've got planned as I mentioned and uh, till the next video. Bye for now. Hope you're having a great summer.